Hello guys, how's it going? I'm here today, and welcome to my latest ship. This is the Titanic 2. So, I know you guys have been bothering me to build Titanic stuff, so here it is. This is the Titanic 2. This ship is actually 4 meters wider than the original Titanic, and has quite a bit more differences than I originally thought. So, most of the stuff that's different from this in the original Titanic comes up from above. You can see lots of the superstructure up here is quite different than the actual Titanic. So, I thought that was a little bit interesting. As well as, of course, the funnels. The first two funnels are real. The last two are fake, of course. Uh, the first two were more modernized and kind of have those things coming out, which I believe is for ventilation. Uh, which is like the black things on the side of the funnel, which you can't really see right here. And we'll go, like, over there. So, right there. Yep, there is that. So that is how this one is modified. Also, we have the lifeboats, and this is the actual correct amount of lifeboats that the Titanic 2 is supposed to have. And this, this ship is actually going to be built by Clive Palmer, who is apparently a billionaire in Australia. Now, I do not know that much about the project and whether it's continuing or not, because I have see, I have not seen anything from Blue Star Line, them saying anything. But I have seen a lot of media coverage lately of, of it, because I know this was originally like talked about in 2012. And now it's for some reason it's coming back just because it's going to be relaunched in 2018. Will he actually follow through? I don't know. I don't really think so, but it'd be cool if he did. Um, but yeah, so also one of the major differences is, of course, that this ship has azipods down here. And it's kind of a weird looking design, really, if you look at it, but it's it's the way that the real ship was designed. It's also has, it, it, it just, I don't know, it's just hard to explain. There's so many different little things here and there that are different on this ship. But, yep, so there is that. All the rigging. I also noticed that the rigging is a little bit more out of the way when it comes to this ship. Like, a lot of the rigging is more like staying around everything that is more now. Probably because they don't need rigging, because the ship's probably strong enough to support itself. Um, and it's probably, I would imagine it's mostly for looks. Maybe the mast, but the funnels I'm pretty sure could stand alone. But, I've noticed that a lot of the rigging just kind of stays with the object they're tying. Unlike the uh, Titanic, where it kind of spreads out everywhere. Also, I noticed there usually is a line right here in between the first two funnels and the original Olympic class liners, but there isn't one on the Titanic 2, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but that is about all I have to say about this ship. Go ahead, download it for yourself compared to the, um, <coughs> compared to the real Titanic. It is, again, only four meters wider than the Olympic class, which you, I actually can see pretty clearly. I, I think it, I can actually kind of make out how it's wider in a way like I don't know because I guess I've built all the ships and now that I've built Titanic 2 it just seems really really wide to me but yep so anyways there we go guys thank you guys very much for watching and the support of the channel please be sure to give this video a like and a diamond on PMC and as always have an awesome day